According to boxoffice.com, the female horror movie audience last year rose to a staggering 51%. This compared to roughly a 20% female audience 20 years ago when Fright Fest first opened its doors. With this in mind, we wanted to explore how the genre is changing by talking to the new wave of women working behind the camera. Women have a, a very particular relationship to horror. Our lives are basically a horror story. We know blood better than men do. We know pain better than men do, and we know fear better than men do. You know, I think a lot of people think that they're, we're the most delicate sex, so they don't... Uh... Not us. Not us. <laughs> I think women can absolutely make films just as bloody and nasty as any guy, and I think it's been proven. I've read your file. I'd like to hear you tell your own story. April, thank you for chatting to Horror Channel. What attracts you as an actress uh, to working in a, a sort of genre picture? I have found the horror industry to be the most welcoming, the best fans, the best crews. It's been amazing. Most of the roles that I have gotten to play have been very strong, powerful, interesting, multi-dimensional women. And I don't know that there was as much of that before, but I'm very grateful. I know you gotta be sick of being held against your will. Not for long. Abigail, Hello. welcome to Horror. Um, tell us, firstly, a bit about the plot behind Tales from the Lodge. So, Tales from the Lodge is about five old university friends who gather for a night to scatter the ashes of their friend Jonesy, who drowned in the lake. But while they're there, they tell stories to try and freak each other out. Hey. What are you doing to my phone? Why did you put it there? I didn't. Knives and Skin is about um, a small town in the US where uh, a teenage girl goes missing almost right at the beginning of the film. Her name is Carolyn Harper. And the worry and the trauma sends everybody in the town into kind of an emotional, you know, like psychosis. I wanted to use the trope of the missing girl or the the traumatized girl. But it was important to me that I made a film that was that a uh, like a a film that's kind of horror and thriller adjacent, um, but that was still very much about female empowerment. I used to worry about her so much when she wasn't with me. It's the most crippling kind of worry. I suppose there'll be less of that worry now. Darling is about a feral teenage girl coming in from the woods and entering into society for the first time. She gets taken in by a Catholic care home and the bishop sees her as an opportunity to prove the miracle of the church by converting her from a wild child into a good girl. And it's horror, so it does not go according to his plan. A woman came looking for you. You have now heard a wild child came to us. How would you describe the state of women working in the horror industry now? I think women have always been interested in horror. I think it's just exciting for us to get more involved in making it, you know, so that we can speak from our experience too. But like you say, we're sort of twisting those uh, genre terms and we're getting more in charge and, and I think people are ready for it.